Fam, what's going on, y'all? It's Fetty G with SSK Killers. I just come back here, fam, and I wet them up just like this, fam. I just let them get some, some cold water on them. Wet their back area up. Then wet them up. Give them fresh water. And then we just go down the line, fam, and we do the next door. Hey, Alize and Bitcoin, cut it out. Well, when them two right there get amped up, fam, they get amped the hell up, fam. I ain't lying. Look at these ants, y'all, the Alize Caves. I just seen them. I just not seen them. But we got, we got a trick for them, too, fam. We got a trick for them, too. You got to have a trick for everything. But yeah, fam. Oh. Then you go to the next cage, fam. So... Y'all have seen me do Alizé, I've did uh, Tebow, I've did Ghoulie. Look at these two right here, fam. Watch this right here. These two make the whole yard go insane. Watch this. Ghoulie look like he was. Hey, cut it out. Okay, hey, hey, hey. I said cut it out. But yeah, fam. I'm literally just gonna go down the line, clean out everybody poop, clean out everybody cage. First, we scoop the poop out first, fam. But yeah, y'all. Look, 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 look at the mama. Look at Cookie. When Cookie get pissed, she get pissed, fam. Bitcoin and Alize, cut it out, I said. When them two dogs get amped up, they make their mama get amped up. Cookie! Look, look at their mama. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. her mama, that's Alize and Bitcoin mama right there, y'all. She a goddamn fool. She is a fool, just like her kids. Look at her. They just ready to start some shit. But yeah, fam, I did from Jumbo Cage all the way down. I got Hustle next. I got them two cages. Goo is up here now, y'all. Remember, Goo was in the back back here. Y'all remember I had that small cage in the back back here? I broke that whole cage down, fam. I didn't even want to use it, and I didn't want to put myself in a situation where I have to use it. So to make sure, I just got rid of that motherfucker. I said I, I, I broke it down, tore it down. And y'all know what I realized, fam? I made that cage with my son. I'm going to see if I can find a vi Two minutes and 55 seconds. I'm going to see if I can find a video of me and my son when we was building that cage. Even when Fetty was a little kid, though. He was way younger. That's how long I had that cage. And it took us days to build it, y'all. Because, you know, I was building it with Fetty. We was just having a father-son time. Hey, hey, Ghoulie. Cut it out. Hey, I said cut it out, man. Like, they know I ain't gonna beat them up. They like, man, you ain't finna do nothing, really. Hey, Tebow, hush, boy. But uh, it took me and my son maybe three, four days to make that cage. Fam, I broke the whole cage down in 30 minutes. Not even 30 minutes, 20 minutes. And I wanted to say, I say that to say this, fam. You can, it could, you can be trying to build something, something that took you 10 years to build five years to build three years to build can be destroyed just like that fam in a matter of seconds in a matter of days it can just be gone if you don't things you don't take care of will vanish fam things you don't take care of will get destroyed it's just like grass y'all right if you're not out here making sure you treating the grass for weeds weeds will creep in and weeds will take over your whole grass it's the same way with a business fam if you not cultivating and main, doing the proper maintenance weekly, daily, right? It goes back to my video from earlier, fam. Sometimes you got to do maintenance on yourself. It ain't always about doing maintenance on the dogs. It ain't always about doing maintenance um, um, with the business or maintenance on, you know, your relationship. Those things are truly important, but sometimes you just got to do maintenance on yourself because the better you are for you, the better you can be for everything around you. Everything connected to you can be better. Everything can flourish more. Everything can just have a, a light to it that just glow because you at your best. You, you're operating at, your, at your, your peak. 
But if you're not operating at your peak, then it's hard for you to, it's hard for things around you to operate at their peak, fam. So I don't even know where I was going. I, I forgot what I was talking about. I just went on, I, I just had that moment to make sure you're doing maintenance on yourself, fam. Make sure you're taking the time to, to treat yourself. Um, what was I talking about in the beginning of this? <laughs> Oh, man. Well, fam, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alizé and Bitcoin, y'all, they, they turn back your way up. But, yeah, I just go down the line. I do each cage. Um, and then once I finish all of the cages, fam, then I'm going to let the dogs out, you know, three, four, five, six dogs at a time. Let them run around. Let them hit the pool. I go over there, do something, hang out over there, or whatever the case is. Come over here, play with the dogs. But I'm letting each dog run around for a long time today, at least an hour run around time. And then I come out here later this afternoon when it's cooled down and let everybody run around again. But, uh, I, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I was talking about something in the beginning. Of, oh, yeah. Back to, yeah, 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 the maintenance part. Because things that you took a year, six months, two years, three years, 20 years to build can be destroyed, fam, within a blink of an eye if you're not doing the proper maintenance. If you're not taking care of business fam so um i i wanted to share that with y'all because that cage i tore it down in like 20 minutes and i'm like damn i tore this cage down in 20 minutes it took me and fetty three four five days to build this cage we built it from scratch y'all i went and bought all the wood i went and got the fence i had some fence that i had laying around the yard and we used that we put the roof on we went and bought the paper for the roof and it was just a, a great experiment, a great, you know, daddy and son time to bond. And it, it got destroyed just like that so fast. But, uh, you know what, build, uh, tearing that cage down, let me know, Fetty, there's some stuff in your life you got to tear down. There's some stuff you got to get rid of to make space for something new, right? Some stuff we got to let go of. Some stuff we got to tear down in order to let new stuff in. Sometimes we holding on to so much stuff, fam, that... We just got to let some of this stuff go because if both of your hands full and somebody say, if you got, uh, you know, a pair of shoes in one hand, a pair of shoes in the other hand, and somebody like, Hey, I want to give you another pair of shoes in order for you to grab that third pair of shoes. You got to put one of them shoes down. So it's like, what are you willing to give up to get? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> what are you willing to give up to get fam? That's the motto for today. What are you willing? Is Dubai going in heat? Yeah, Dubai going in heat. I'm going to have to move her. Ain't no way I can leave her in between these two cages. They going to graze hell with Dubai being in heat. But what are you willing to give up to gain more, fam? What are you willing to sacrifice? So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm finna keep going down, fam. I'm finna, I thought I was so good. I just wanted to share that with y'all. But I'm finna keep going, fam, and get all this taken care of, fam. I, I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna see y'all in the next one, baby. I love you. What are you willing to sacrifice, fam, so that you can gain more? Family, I love y'all. I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. I'm out of here, baby.